Hi guys, um, this is B. I just wanted to check in with an intuitive hit, okay? And a, I got this between last night and today and it's majorly disappointing, but um, someone needs to just be mindful. If you're dating, uh, if you're dating, just in general, you know, just be mindful of the energies that are coming towards you. I feel like people are upset with you for standing in your power or for not being what they thought you were or fitting into a box. Like they're upset that you're not fitting into the box that they created for you in their mind. Like these are people that you may not even deal with on an everyday basis. These are people who, for whatever reason, have some kind of a bone to pick with you. You're doing your own thing, minding your own business, but for whatever reason, there's a group of people that want to come towards you and they've, they've devised a plan. So these are weak people. These are people who can't say what's on their mind. They're people who need to sneak around. They're people who need to devise plans to attack you rather than just be direct. So um, take that how you will. You may have somebody in mind already, but anyway, if this doesn't apply, then please let it fly because this is not a pretty situation. They're going to send somebody toward you they're going to send somebody toward you, and they may have already been doing this, but it's not been working. They're going to send someone toward you to make some kind of an offer or to take you out, to date you. But there's a plan to hurt you in this situation, either hurt you emotionally and or physically, but I'm, I'm hearing and. Emotionally and physically. Um, and it could be and or physically, but I don't know. Hopefully there's not a ton of people going through this situation. But it's like, for whatever reason, this group of people want you to fit into some stereotype. And because you don't, they want to hurt you. They might be sending somebody. Like, it could be a group of men. It could be men and women. They're like, oh, yeah, why don't you go? Why don't you ask her out and see how she acts? You know, it's, it's petty people. It's people who really have nothing better to do. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I just, I just heard, like, people who already have a space designated for them in the afterlife. Anyway, we won't go too far into that. But they are so bored with their own lives, they're trying to devise a plan to have somebody come towards you to set you up for misery in some way, shape, or form. And they may be trying to approach you more than one at a time. So it could be one person comes toward you to ask you for a date and then another, and they've got some kind of a weird vet situation going to see who can get you to do what. Um, so if you've been feeling already in your intuition that it's better for you to fly solo or to be just, you know, focus on other things right now. If you're not interested in love right now or not love so much, but just dating, then listen to your gut. And, and they may try to send somebody you don't know, but I feel like this is people you do know. Like this is people who you've known in some way, shape or form from the past who are just so aggravated that you don't really deal with them or you're not like them in a way. And I, that's a really negative, icky kind of energy, but it is what it is and um, I can't sugarcoat it. But yeah, it's like some weird kind of bet or game energy coming toward you. So be careful with that, all right? And um, be open to love, of course, but Trust your gut and intuition. If something feels off about a situation, listen to your gut. With that, I will see you guys very soon with a reading. Bye.